Amy Tenenbaum shook off the Omicron variant in January, or so she thought. A few weeks later, she developed breathing problems. Then she collapsed while walking home. I had a, a, a really fast, rapid, pounding heart, um, even at rest, um, and uh, chest tightness, chest pain. Combined with other symptoms like constant fatigue, Amy's long COVID forced her to give up her job as a server. Despite being double vaccinated with no underlying conditions, she can barely walk, forced to use a wheelchair to get around. From doctors, there's confusion. They just were kind of like, well, we can't help you here. We don't know anything about it. Come back in a few years and maybe we'll know more. Enter Carlos Hernandez Castillo, a researcher at Dalhousie University. Castillo plans to analyze brain imaging of long COVID victims, looking for patterns that could lead to public health guidelines on treatment. So when somebody gets sick, um, the, the people in the hospital know what to do after and what they need to um, analyze or like maybe test in the patients to know if they need extra treatment or like follow up. It's tough slogging considering long haulers suffer from various combinations of more than a dozen symptoms. Everything from brain fog to unexplained bruising and rashes and unshakable exhaustion. My speech will change. I slur or can't articulate. Castillo hopes to coordinate his two-year research project with similar studies being launched in Toronto, London, Ontario, and in Mexico. We need to combine data from different sources to be able to find out those patterns. We want to make like a map of exactly which functions are getting affected from COVID. Amy Tenenbaum just graduated from Dalhousie. She plans to pursue a graduate degree, her strength wavering, but her spirit unbroken. Ross Lord, Global News, Halifax.